Mark Beard podcast. I can tell you're a fan the same way as you do what you do, then you love to just sit down and watch the event. Uh, no, I heard we're going to level four tomorrow. Everyone else is going into level three. And Mate, well, I've heard from a friend of a friend who is a very reliable source, and I have been an investigative reporter for almost a year now, <laughs> um, that it's going to be seven weeks. Seven weeks? <laughs> I'm saying with you guys, saying. I'm getting divorced. Um, yeah, my sporting background is not very illustrious. Um, I do have a background in martial arts. I did uh, karate for about seven years and Muay Thai for about two years. Man, to, to still get a call up to SmackDown and and to say that that's been done, uh, it, it's an awesome accomplishment for me. And if I pull someone's jersey, wax me, I'm like, sweet bro, all good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a funny concept around giving back. You know, um, I kind of have a different mindset towards that, Mark. I'm, I'm like, well, instead of giving back, why don't you just bring us up? Dana White gets on the phone, Joe. We want you to come to the UFC. Would you switch? And how do you reckon you would go if you did it? Um, I'll give it a go, but I don't think it's oh. my... If you think about it, you make more money in boxing, you yeah, fight yeah. less. You fight less, What's yeah. The point, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Paul Gallen, he's boxing now, right? <laughs> what do you think about wanting to fight Mark Hunt? What's that I think he's, I think he's crazy. The world's champion, ladies and gentlemen, Joey Chester! We're proud of our foods, Joe. Like, we've got good lamb. We love our fish and chips here yeah. in this country, in New yeah. Zealand. Have you ever looked over at anything on our menu and gone, man, I could smash a load of that? Oh, uh, well, I think you guys have meat pies too, don't you? Oh, yeah, we love yeah, a good yeah, meat pie, mate. Yeah. What's the most dangerous thing that Junior Farr brings into this fight, other than uh, the, the fact that this is his big chance? Like, physically, what does he bring to the fight that you'll be saying, Joe, we've got to watch this? The, the most dangerous thing that he brings to the fight is he's not afraid of Joe. You know, 2020, once March hit, um, and then COVID and the lockdown and so on, I think it was set up the breakout club. But in fact, when I look back now, 2020 made our club. You're a wonderful father. Um, and from a person who's looked from the outside in, I mean, I met Caleb when uh, he was at high school and, and yeah. did interviews with him. And to where he is now, he's always been that same kid who's, like I said, engaging, uh, wonderful, just a beautiful kid. So well done to you. Yeah, thanks, Mark. And, I, you know, that's our, our prayer for other parents, that constant letting them know that you love them, I think is probably one of the, I believe, is one of the most important things to communicate to your, to your kids, no matter whether they're two years old or whether they're 12 or whether they're 24 or 30. So it's, it's important. The Mark Beard Podcast.